Hey guys, we are live for our Tuesday live session at 3. Uh, it's every Tuesday at 3 and we are live again this week. Guys, today we're going to talk a bit about the type of entrepreneurs that you can be and why some people think they should be one type of entrepreneur but actually they can also be the other type of entrepreneur. And then the second thing we're going to talk about is should I have my passion or my dream or my goal work, worked out perfectly by this stage of my career or not. So we're gonna talk about those two things today. But first, an announcement, guys. There's two days left to get your tickets to How To Entrepreneur. It's gonna be an awesome seminar. Um, I'm gonna speak there. Gabriel Kleiman is gonna speak there. Franco Leibrandt is gonna speak there. And Marnus Broedrijk is gonna speak at this event. And we're gonna talk about How To Entrepreneur. So it's gonna be a great, great event. Olank, thanks for joining in. Um, so that's the first thing. The other thing is I'm talking at IASA, the Institute for uh, Real Estate Agents in South Africa, um, on Friday. I'm going to talk a bit about social media um, uh, as Millennia 22. And then on Saturday, I'm meeting with JVs to end off our 6 0 to a million course that I presented at the school in terms of wealth mindset so a lot of things happening this week um jason thanks for joining in and uh, but today we are talking a bit about the two types of entrepreneurs as well as um your passion and your goal and should you have everything worked out from the start guys if you have any questions send them in and then we can talk about it live uh, jerry thanks so much for joining in so before we start orlank jason jerry How's your business going? What's up? What are you doing? Send some questions through that we can answer live. So we're going to talk about the two types of entrepreneurs. Guys, a lot of people that I meet and that I consult with because I do business consulting tells me that, oh, but I can't be an entrepreneur. I don't have something new, something um, that I can design, something that I can invent, uh, that I can sell or change the world with. And then sometimes I understand that a lot of people have this misconception that if you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to come up with something new. You have to invent something new. You have to invent something that the world hasn't seen before um, in order to become an entrepreneur. And that's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. There's two types of entrepreneurs. The one type of entrepreneur is the Mark Zuckerbergs, the Elon Musks, all of the guys that you know, Bill Gates, that invented something new, you know, like Steve Jobs, invented something new, um, Thomas Edison, etc. And then, you know, they invented this new thing and they put it out there and they were known as entrepreneurs. But I see them as innovators that has found a way to monetize their invention. Okay, there's another type of entrepreneur, the second type which is more my type of game, which is more my type of entrepreneur. And that is someone that just sees something that's been done and just makes it better. Okay, just makes it better. And if you were struggling with that, you know, thought in your mind since till today, I'll give you the answer today. You can be the second type of entrepreneur as well. If you see something happening in your area, in your community, something that's, that's you know, being sold some service some product and you can see how to just improve it a little bit or make the service a little bit better or market the product a little bit better then you can also be an entrepreneur i mean take some of my endeavors that i've done car sales has been there forever but i bought and sold cars and i made it a little bit better i made it a little bit quicker and i became an entrepreneur from that similar with property property has been there for ages I did it again. I, I bought houses, I you know, rented them out, and I found a way to get a better return on investment on renting your property out. <coughs> then, then there's another um, option. You know, um, I've, I've did great designs where we designed figurines and sold them against the markup. That's been done for a lot of times, but I just took the same business model 
and redid it. Gazaroo, web designing, branding, social media management. There's a lot of companies out there that does that. But our company gives better service and we market ourselves better and we have a better brand. And that's the way how you can become an entrepreneur by using something that's already there. Guys, we're talking about two types of entrepreneurs because most people have the misconception that you have to be an innovator to become an entrepreneur. And I'm saying that there's another type. You can just take what's already there, package it better, uh, use it better, and sell it better, and then you can also be an entrepreneur. Cool guys, Erlang, Jason, Jerry, AJ, um, Brendan, Stefan, and Klaus, thank you for joining in for the live session today. I hope things are well on your side. Is there any questions from you guys in terms of business, side hustle, um, whatever you're doing with your endeavors? Uh, Jerry is saying, I'm struggling to get buyers, but my business is going well. Jerry, what type of buyers? Are you talking about clients or buyers for your business? Um, Brendan is saying, hello. Uh, Jerry is saying, hello. Stefan is saying, awesome work you and Fran are doing, Albert. Thanks so much, Stefan. We are trying to inspire uh, our generation and the people around us in our country to create an, a new mindset in terms of wealth, to see that there is opportunity in South Africa and that you can become financially independent if you just have the right tools. Klaus is saying, how's it, Albert? How's it, Klaus? Hope things are going well. Um, and Jerry is saying he's struggling to get clients. Um, Jerry, clients is, is a big struggle if you're not doing your marketing correctly. Okay, so there's a big thing you can do in terms of marketing to get your clients. The first thing that you need to do is you need to show your clients that you can provide value. Okay, there's a good book that you can read in terms of that and it's called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. It shows you the why of your business and why your business should have a why. A value that you have and that your clients can resonate with. Because if your clients resonate with your value, if their values matches your values, then they become brand ambassadors and not just clients. And then they will tell other people about your business. So that's the first basic thing. The second thing is on Christmas Eve, I've used this example a few times. On Christmas Eve, if you see the presents under the tree, do you like the one in a brown paper bag or do you like the one that's neatly wrapped in shiny wrapping? Okay? You need to wrap your business and your product in shiny wrapping. So see if you can find a nephew or niece or cousin or someone that can do graphic design, that knows marketing, that can do social media marketing, that can build a nice website to make your business look good. Or go check out uh, Gazaroo, my company. We help a lot of entrepreneurs with those services. So the first thing, you need to have a why, a value that resonates with your clients. You need to make your business look good and then you should deliver on what you've promised and deliver proper products and your clients will um, share that with their friends and I mean in my, in my experience most of our business always comes from word of mouth and every now and then you get clients from from new in, you know streams of marketing and then they stay when you deliver on what you've promised. Jerry I hope that helps uh, Stefan is saying, love you guys, are influencing the youth, uh, the young generation of SA. I see how you are going to be big someday. Keep up the hustle, bud. Thank you so much, Stefan. Um, it gives us energy when we see how young entrepreneurs are making a success of their business and moving forward and inspiring the rest of the people in South Africa as well. Brendan is sewing shop. Okay, guys, so the first question that we answered today was, can, should I be an innovator to be an entrepreneur or can I be uh, something else as an entrepreneur? And we talked about taking a product or service, making it better and being an entrepreneur in that way. And that is the type of entrepreneur I'm as well. All of my businesses already existed before. I just took it, make it better, found a better way to increase the profits, found a better way to reach customers, and found a better way to deliver the product or service. And you can do that as well. The second thing we wanted to talk today was about your passion and your goal. Because the other day I got a question, Albert, I don't have my passion. I don't have my goal figured out completely, you know, perfectly. What should I do? Where should I go? So we're going to answer that question 
right now. Erlang, Jason, Jerry, AJ, Brendan, Stefan, Klaas. Uh, thank you guys for joining in. If you have any questions, send them through uh, on Facebook. The guys are joining in on Facebook as well. Thank you for joining in. Um, and we're going to answer the question, what do I do if I don't have my goal or dream or passion figured out perfectly at the moment? Guys, it can change. When I started my financial journey, um, I started it when I wanted to buy a bike. Um, we couldn't afford the bike. I didn't come from a generation of wealth. Uh, so we couldn't afford the bike. And that was my first goal, dream or passion. I just wanted to be able to afford any bike that I want. To be able to buy any bike that I want. And that was what drove me. That was what gave me energy on my entrepreneurial journey for a while. And then when I was able to buy any bike that I wanted, my next passion and goal and dream was to become financially independent. Because I saw people going to work every day, um, coming ha home late, going to work early. And I felt that that's not the life that I want to live. I want to make a difference in this world. I want to bring a change. So I decided that I needed to become financially independent in order to do that. So that was my next dream, my next goal, my next passion. And I worked super hard to get there. And when I quit my job, um, I, I became an industrial engineer. I worked for a year and then I quit my job. Then my goal changed again. And now it is to influence the people of South Africa in terms of financial mindset, the way they think, and to help them to become financially independent so they can live their dream and their passion. So in my journey, my passion, my goal, my plan of action changed three times throughout my journey, okay? So if you're today in, at a point where you say, Albert, I want to become something great, I want to do something with my life, but I don't know exactly what that is. I don't have my plan exactly. I don't have my dream exactly. My passion, it's difficult to find what I'm passionate about. Then I'm saying to you, take the first thing, even if it's just to be able to buy any bike you want to buy. If that's your first thing, even if it's materialistic like that, take that and have that drive and have that goal and go towards that with everything you have and use all of the concepts and the knowledge and the things we talk about on these live sessions and take it and go for it. From there, your passion will most likely change again and change again and change again and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you'll get to the point where you want to be in your life. But don't feel bad if you don't have everything worked out at the moment. Just go for that first step. Guys, we had a great live session today. We talked about um, how to, to know the different types of entrepreneurs as well as um, what I should do with my passion and is it okay if I just go for it at the moment. We have a question on Facebook. Celeste for Shia just says, so excited about this movement, also so motivational, thanks. Okay Celeste, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, thank you Stefan as well for your great comments. Uh, everyone that joined in on the live session, Erlang, Jason, Jerry, AJ, Brendan, uh, Stefan, Klaas and um, yeah, Celeste, thank you so much guys for joining in. Next week Tuesday we are live again at 3 and get your questions ready. We answer them live and chat live online. Remember guys, how to entrepreneur. Go to www.howtoentrepreneur.co.za. Our event is Thursday. It's going to be awesome. See you guys next week Tuesday on the live session.